Hey guys, welcome back to so Let's Play Final Fantasy. And this may be the final episode, but then again it might not be. Anywho, in the Flying Fortress though, we did get that Atomite and I forgot to bring it, or I forgot to actually mention that we need to bring it back to, uh, the dude in Mount Gil, or Dregor. And yeah, and this, I think this is the, yeah, it's Mount Duragar? I think that's how you pronounce it. I've really been bad at pronouncing everything. That's really one of my very uh, bad things. But anyways, we're gonna talk to this dude and we're just gonna we're just gonna dump that thing on the like f like table and be like, what's up man? I got Adamite, what's up, dog? And then we're all hood and stuff and he's like, is this Adamite? Blah, blah, blah. And he's gonna talk like a dwarf. And I honestly cannot read dwarf. Like all these didn't make you find a sword or something. And apparently just whacking a um, bunch of raw materials instantly creates a sword with a hilt and it's uh, cool. Didn't in all my years never catch a finer sword. Go take her, she's yours. Indeed, she is yours. <laughs> I mean, yours. Not yours. Anyways. And we obtain Excalibur, the strongest sword in the game that only the knight... Or actually, it's not the strongest sword in the entire game, but only the knights can equip. And I want to show you how much stinking attack power we get from this. Yeah, that's a lot. And we get up to 64 attack power, which is my favorite number. And we're just going to give our old hand-me-down sunblade to Josh, and that's all good for him. Anyways, um... Yeah, now there's really nothing left to do in the game except to uh, go to the Chaos Shrine. Which, um, before I go to the Chaos Shrine, though, I'm going to show you my items and stuff. Uh, I pretty much sold everything and rearranged stuff, so uh, my, I put my Giant's Gloves uh, in the front, because that's the item I'm going to be using the most in here. And I bought a bunch of Strength Tonics. Now we have 99 <laughs> Phoenix Downs and just 99 everything, man. We're kicking some butt. And uh, real quick, I'm going to show off the magic. I got pretty much every magic spell that's worth getting, really. Uh, it's better to have it than not to have it, I guess. So yeah. Anyways, with that out of the way, we're going to move on to the final obstacle of the game. The Chaos Shrine and all the bats have moved away from the altar. So let's talk to the altar. And it's, uh, I guess we're going to nod in front of it for some reason. And then face our forwards. And then we're going to chuck our crystals at it and be like, You focus the light on the four shining crystals. Fire, earth, water, and wind on the black crystal. Full of time surges and space begins to warp. Just one step forward and you will travel back 2,000 years in the in time. In 2,000 years into the future! Anyways. I don't think that's a reference to anything. I just said that for some reason. Anyways, I need to stop being awkward and go inside of the teleport. Apparently taking us back in time. And yes, this is the Chaos Shrine. The hardest dungeon in the game. Not only to navigate, but actually to uh, complete. Eh, I guess that's debatable. Anyways, yeah, white dragons are a big deal here, and I'm, uh, I'm hoping I'll get to show off the uh, spell Flare. Um, that's the, uh, the best mag eh, black magic spell we you can ever get, actually. Um, it's not really too great on bosses, really, because you can't really increase magic damage all too much, except for maybe using like a magic tonic or something. But whatever, that's not really important. But yeah, man, that thing looks cool. Oh my gosh. And it usually does a solid 500 damage to everybody, which is useful. Anyways, once you, uh, yeah, need to go down here. And, uh, the purple worm. Um, a purple worm, my strategy guide actually says if you have any left, use the, or uh, if you, I sold them because I really think they're useless. If you have the, uh, healing rod and the, uh, healing helm, to use them on these enemies because you can just take them out in one hit. And, uh, you can postpone and just get free, free cures and healing off, but I tend to not do that. Anyways. Uh, yeah, and you slowly descend into the Chaos Round. That's something I think is kind of cool, and I'm kind of lost here. So, uh, I'm gonna need to occasionally look at my map. Oh, crap, some green dragons. Green dragons, kind of hard, actually. They're, you'll notice very quickly that, uh, for the most part, the enemies you'll fight here are actually pretty darn tough. Um, and they, yeah, they'll do just massive waves of damage. And Josh is gonna die if he gets hit with another stinking poison gas. Oh, good, he didn't. I need to heal after this battle, because I was being stupid. Man, Excalibur looks cool. Holy crud. It's a cool looking sword. Eh, but it's not the best sword in the game. Definitely not. Definitely not. And I will show myself getting the best sword in the game. And I will pronounce it probably badly. But yeah, the holy crud. Dragons give a ton of stinking... Like, ah, oh gosh, they give a ton of experience. And to the best of my ability, I'm going to try and do this in one take. Um, I'm, I'm, this probably won't be one episode, but just, I'm going to do it in one recording. I don't know why I told you how I'm going to record this, but whatever. And we got these dudes. Um, something to point out about these dudes, though, is um, they actually have a, a tendency to drop, drop uh, either a... Um, I think it's called a red curtain, which uh, can be a very uh, useful thing to have here, considering the bosses here are going to be very hard, and you probably want as many good items as you can get. And uh, yeah, pretty much showing this boss fight to get one. Yeah, yeah, I got a red curtain, all right. 
And showing that was completely pointless. Anyways, now I'm gonna start cutting battles that are unnecessary, and I think, yeah, this is where I need to turn. Man, Flare is such a good spell. Ugh, but anywho, you wanna come up here. Um, I wasn't really talking or anything, but that was a, uh, fixed encounter. Oh my gosh, seriously. Ugh, that was a fixed encounter with something called a, uh, Evil Eye, I think. No, I think it's called a Dead Eye. Anyways, it was just a reskin of a boss we've already seen, and I killed him one hit, so there's no point showing it to him. I don't know why I'm showing this boss except to explain why, or er, showing this random battle because I already just explained why I didn't show the other one. <sighs> but anyways, I need to calm down and shut up about the random battle. Like seriously, I've been like, I've been like going back and watching like some of the, like the the first episodes of this Let's Play and be like, oh my gosh, the random battles are so high. <sighs> anyways, um, we're gonna press the A button in front of this thing, and oh, we're gonna play the loot. We're just gonna, I guess, it's the Final Fantasy thing. It's pretty, uh, pretty stinking cool. Yeah, I don't remember this when I was little. I guess I just skipped over this part. But yeah, if you remember, that's the, uh, loot that Princess Cornelia gave us. Or, not Princess Cornelia. Uh, Princess, what's her name? I always forget it. Huh, anyways. But yeah, going in there actually took us to, like, this lower half of the shrine that we cannot previously access. Which, um... Okay, yeah, sorry about that, uh, cut. I had a little... Uh, thing I had to fix. Anyways, just gonna kill some of these dudes, and I'm not gonna leave this battle in any longer because there's no point. Alrighty, but yeah, once you go through uh, that door with the loot, which I don't know why they even make you play the loot. It's kind of redundant. You really can't get this far without getting the loot in the first place. So there's no point. But yeah, like the loot doesn't do anything else except for that one thing it did right there. And you'll probably notice we're back on the first floor now. Ooh, just got hit pretty hard in that little encounter that we had, but I'm gonna use Kira's. And yeah, like, I, you'll probably notice, like, okay, I need to, like, explain this real quick. 99, like, 9 out of 10 of, like, the Black Wizard's, like, spells are completely useless. Like, Stun, I, I guarantee you'll never use that spell. Or a Blind, or Saber, or Quake. And you know why I did it? You know why I got all these dang spells? Because it makes me feel cool, alright? That's really important when you're doing a Let's Play. That you feel cool, even though you're not. I mean, you may be cool, but I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely not cool. But, uh, something I've never actually seen before. A, uh, item called Emergency Exit. I've never seen that ever. I know what it does and all, but, but just, just by looking at the name. But I've never seen that item drop ever. Ah, oh, man, there's a lot of dragons in the end of this stupid shrine. But then again, there always are a lot of dragons. But anyways, we went up, uh, three floors, and now we're going down into a basement. But, uh, I don't know why I told you that, because you can just obviously see that by looking at B1 and, uh, floor two and stuff and figure that out for yourself. But I'm not um showing it on screen or any ah uh, come up come the well I might as well show it. Um these are really weak enemies. Mostly like of like earthern and, and like you know they're like the the kinds of things we found in the earth shrine and stuff. I mean, not the earth shrine, the uh earthen cave. I almost said shrine. But yeah, like why the crud are we running these like weak behind enemies? We're fighting stinking white dragons like one floor ago, now we're fighting like stinking clay golems I've been killing like, one hit like that's weird. Uh, don't you just love getting in a random encounter right after, one step later after you've gotten a one? Gosh. Eh, preemptive strike, might as well keep this battle in. Yeah, I've been using Flare, like, every single battle in here. Such a useful spell. It may not do nearly as much damage as sticking at just attacking, but like, oh my gosh. It is, like, by far probably the most useful spell in the game. Yeah, right next to full life, though, which I've yet to show off. Man, that spell's useful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Anyways, fix an encounter in the next uh, square. Actually, now the next square. And, uh, yeah, might as well do it. Yay! Okay. Yeah, now you have to refight the Lich. That's, uh, not too threatening? You may be thinking. No, it is very, very threatening, actually. Um, the Lich actually loses some weaknesses. He, he uh, is no longer weak to fire, actually. He is weak to Daya, but... Eh. I mean, you think he'd be weak to Holy, but he's not. It actually just does normal damage. It's kind of weird like that. Um, anyways, I'm going to try to the best of my ability to power up uh, Johnny. In one turn, which I've basically done is Giant Gloves, Temper, Strength Tonic, and then Haste, which uh, seems to work. Um, the Lich, though, is significantly stronger, having a lot more health. And he can use uh, pretty much every black magic spell in the game. So uh, don't take him up as a pushover. And what sucks about him, though, he only drops one gill. Like, that's so weird, right? Like, when you beat him, he only drops one gill. It's so random. I never understood that. Anyways, uh, now that we're max, pretty much max attack on, uh, myself. He's, a uh, Hila Ra- Hila as I call it. For some I always call it Hila I have no idea why. 
yeah, there's no sense in not buffing up a Chaos, so we might as well do that. You know what sucks about like the black like the black wizard? He never gets any buffs, and holy crap, I didn't realize how low health we were. Good thing I healed. But oh my gosh, it's that to me is like Square Enix's biggest deal. They never buff the magic people. Oh yeah, you can't cast stop, which yeah, don't Oh crap, it hit me. Crap a doodle doo. So you use a antidote? No, not an antidote. Need to use a uh, stinking remedy. I'm not thinking, dude. Not thinking. Just to prove that uh, Dyra does damage, I'm going to cast it. And you know anything about it? Like the the Lich is undead. What if we cast life on him? What would happen? Man? I don't know. Even though that happens in other Final Fantasy games. I like how Flare is doing like exactly 500 damage though every turn. Yeah, that remedy was probably pretty useless considering he only has like um, 20,000 health. See how much damage that does? Wow, only 200. That would have been funny if it killed it, though. Ha 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 ha. Funny, funny, funny. No, it's not funny at all. That should do it. Yep, down he goes. And for some reason, he's going to uh, die into horizontal lines. I don't know why they do that. Do they think that was a good effect or something? Anyways, second floor, or basement floor, actually. Oh, uh, you're actually going to encounter the enemies you fought in Mount Golg. Oh, crap, I'm out of mana. Crap. Crap, good thing I have like tons of stinking things. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna run for this battle. No point. Actually I should have ran with all my people. But I will. I'm going to make this I'm, this is probably gonna be the longest uh, episode actually. Actually I'm gonna probably make these uh, things long. Or these videos long for my side things. Anywho, can we just run please? Oh thank you, I don't wanna fight these jerks. Ugh. Anyways. What you gotta do here is you got to I think I messed up. Nope, I didn't. It's kind of annoying how you how make you do this. Um, you gotta like, you kind of gotta do like a horseshoe movement, or not really even a horseshoe. Basically, the way you came, the the stairs you came on, you have to uh, like exit. And yeah, okay, some good enemies. What I'm trying to explain is like, okay, from where you started, basically like completely loop around the room, and you'll see what I'm talking about like shortly once we get to the exit, or at least hopefully if we get in more battles, that would suck. Who I think this. No. Cool thing about these uh, easy enemies, though, is they're easy to flee from. Anyways, fixed encounter with Merilith for the second time, and this time uh, she's no longer weak to confusion and uh, her spells, for one thing, are a lot less strong. So there's no. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. And yet again, I'm gonna use a strike sonic because I'm extremely. Ch I didn't. Get, I didn't give Caleb more stick. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid, guys. Sometimes. I did not give Caleb more MP, and I didn't even heal. Let's. <sighs> I'm really overpowered in these, uh, videos. And I didn't grind too much when I was trying to get the, uh, encounter with the, uh, death machine. Uh, can I go, uh, any more times? Uh, and <laughs> if Merilith can get a turn, you'll see, whoa, she's actually doing pretty good damage. Um, who did not get a buff this turn? And it doesn't matter. Uh, because I don't hear, I don't, I don't think I casted haste. I'll also do that now. But anyways, I'm going to use a cur or Healeraga. And, uh, we're going to cast Ace on Josh. That should be good. Um, she's no longer weak to, um... I don't think she was ever weak to Blizzard, actually, so she's not weak to that anymore. All around, though, not that difficult a boss. And I know I'm missing, like, tons of stinking, like, treasure. Oh, Josh might die. Josh might... Oh, now he lived. Cool. I know I'm missing, like, tons of treasure. That's because I realize it's, like, not even, like, worth it. Like, the treasures we can get in this place are not even significant anymore. Like, there's, like, no... It's, like... Not that big of a deal. So I really don't complain like, LOL, you wish this you missed a potion, and that makes me a better Final Fantasy player than you. <sighs> and yeah, shut up, you're not. And actually you probably are, because I suck at this game and whoa, two thousand damage. She only has three thousand health, so that's huh. I really shouldn't buff up Josh so much, because it's really pointless. Anyways, just gonna use heals as a precaution. And there's no point. I think jo no, why don't I use Blizzard Rog? It's a really cool looking spell. I don't think I showed that one off actually. I'm surprised I didn't kill her. And here, just one more attack. And don't be using Thor's hammer. Yeah, let me use Excalibur, the strongest sword ever. Kind of. Yeah. Anyway, she goes down, and that's the end of Merilith. Not uh, not too hard. And only one gale. Anyways, though, this is uh, the basement level th or basement three. Um, I don't know how good we're doing on time. So in, in the next video, we're going to continue the Chaos Shrine. So I'll see you in the next video. I said video again twice, didn't it? <laughs>